Babang Kulegelu Coco, Ogong Wheels a Sele, Sitting Cosinang, who Hulumenum Tigbalisa. The doctor has sent her home in pain. Even if it's a time to die, Lord, why must she die in pain? What would it have been for the doctor to give her some painkillers so that if she has spent enough time on this earth, she lives in peace? Our relatives are dying in pain because the government is ignoring us. We don't praise Nelson Mandela because the legacy of the party left in charge is sending our people home to die in pain. I pray for all the people in the hospitals, God, who are going through the same thing that they neglect and doctors who do not care. Doctors who steal medications and equipment. We saw one in court this week. Sitting but I'm not allowed to say this. This is not an HIV cure. But if you study about what that mixture was, they put sorghum. They put a whole lot of things in, in, the, in that mixture. They bake it for days. I have relatives because my mother was fortunate in a time as a teacher when Jacob Zuma was in power. She was sent to an HIV course. It's not an ARV that they were taught to make, man. It is a mixture with vitamins. It is a mixture that boosts your immune. There are many things that help toward your immune, but because Manto Shabalala just said, be true. Today, people with HIV are outliving us. Magic Johnson has outlived many athletes who didn't have HIV, but our people are dying of cancer. My grandma died of cancer in 2001. The government gave her Panados, who was president in 2001, because you don't deal with cancer with Panado. She died in pain. My other granny has been sent from the hospital. They tell her she's got heart issues, but she don't even give her pain meds. She's crying and she's crying. When a patient is crying of pain, they say she's irritating, she's disturbing the peace. They take her out. God, we pray for healing powers. We pray for healing powers. We know the ANC will emerge victorious, victorious in this election because the DA is racist, because the EFF does not show us the calculations behind their promises. As an income tax payer, I'm worried. I want a government that's going to say, we know your days in this earth are over, but we're not going to just send you off without pain medication. I'm fortunate to have a medical aid, but the rest of my family isn't. And I'm trying, I'm trying. But God, we pray, we know that you heal. We know that there's people who said the prayer and we heal. We know that there's people out there who are billionaires, who are philanthropists. We pray that they may come into the government hospitals and not give the money to the ANC, not give the money to the to the heads of to the HODs of the hospital, but come there, go to the patient, what is needed. They go, they get that medication, and they give it to the family because the responsibility of our loved ones is now in our hands. We cannot.